Just last week, we were bracing for snow here in the area. While it wasn't the 10 or 14 inches here in Council Bluffs that some were predicting, there was still a good amount of it. We take an inside look at the hard work city crews put in to keeping roads safe during harsh winter conditions. In case you missed it, the area has recently seen some snowfall. A lot of it. However, the city of Council Bluffs is ready and prepared. Well, we've been doing now is just getting all of our equipment ready to go. That's what we were doing, um, you know, last Friday um, into today. And as you can see, everything is pretty well set up and ready to roll. February 1st, one day before a projected Groundhog's Day blizzard hits the area, Council Bluffs Public Works braces for conditions they may face. Well, we usually monitor the storms in advance. We have several weather systems that we review and look at. We watch them as they're rolling in. Before action begins, assessment of area surroundings are crucial. And pavement temperatures are very important to us because that's how we determine whether we're going to do any pre-treatments on the street or not um, and what type of treatments that we would use on the streets. Those pre-treatments of the streets can begin days in advance thanks to an interesting addition to the mixture. Beet juice will give the brine a residual and lower the operating temperature and allow it to stay on the streets for much longer, in fact, up to five days. As snow begins to fall in the early hours of February 2nd, Public Works launches its planned attack to keep roads as safe as possible. When we get a snow event, we will stay on emergency routes until that snow ends and those emergency routes are cleaned. Emergency routes are all your main arterials that run through the city, all your, your business, hospitals, and things like that. Um, we will stay on them until they are cleared. Crews work in 12-hour shifts to plow emergency routes before they make their way into residential areas, plowing and hauling away snow to designated lots. The meticulous and dedicated operation has earned Council Bluffs Public Works national recognition. In 2013, Council Bluffs received the Excellence in Snow and Ice Award from the American Public Works Association. We were one of 10 cities to receive that. Um, it was based on our chemical programs and just all of our snow functions that we do that we were selected to receive that award. And it was quite an honor to get it. By the afternoon of February 4th, most streets and council bus are not only safe, but clear, making the hard work well worth it. When we see wet pavement and we got all the snow plowed away and we've got all the pot piles hauled off, uh, that's our reward. In total, 4.9 inches fell here in Council Bluffs. However, not too far away from here in places like Fremont, Nebraska, got up to at least a foot of snow. Get up to the minute updates from the City of Council Bluffs during snowstorms on Twitter at City of CB.